Hello, my name's Anne and today I'm going to read you a story. It's called The Christmas Promise. It's written by Alison Mitchell and the illustrations are by Catalina Echeverry. A long, long time ago, so long that it's hard to imagine, God promised a new king. He wasn't any ordinary king, like the ones we see on TV or in books. He would be different. He would be a new king, a rescuing king, a forever king. And do you know what? One precious night, God kept his Christmas promise. Would you like to know how he did it? The Christmas story starts with an angel. Whoosh! He came from God to see Mary. The angel had a special message. Mary, you're going to have a baby. He will be a special baby. God promises that your baby is going to be king. Not for a little time, but forever and ever. He will be the forever king. Mary was going to marry Joseph. So God sent another angel. Whoosh! He came to see Joseph. The angel had a special message. Mary is going to have a very special baby, the angel said to Joseph. Her baby is going to be king and will rescue his people. He will be a rescuing king. God had promised that his new king would be born in a little city called Bethlehem. And that's where Mary and Joseph went. But Bethlehem was very busy with lots and lots and lots of people. So when the baby was born, he had to sleep in a manger instead of a bed. All the other mangers in Bethlehem held food for hungry animals to munch. But this manger held a tiny baby. The shepherds in the field had such a surprise. It was quiet and dark and the sheep were snoozing when whoosh, an angel popped into the sky. Now the sky was bright and the shepherds were so, so scared. But the angel had a special message for them. Don't be afraid. I have wonderful good news for you, the angel said. God's chosen king has been born tonight. He's going to rescue his people, just as God promised. He will be the rescuing king. Then lots and lots of other excited angels joined in to celebrate. The shepherds were really excited. They went rushing to see the new king. And there he was, lying in a manger, just as the angel said. But they weren't the only ones who had heard the good news about the promised king. Some wise men living far, far away had also been sent a message. It was quiet and dark and they were watching the stars when whoosh, a new star popped into the sky. The star had a special message. The wise men knew what it meant. A very special king had been born, a king for all God's people. This child was the promised new king. The wise men were so excited, so they went on a long journey to see the new king. And there he was, just as the star had shown them. Everything God promised came true. There are lots and lots of different kings in the world, but God sent the greatest king of all. He sent a new king, a rescuing king, a forever king. And do you know what this king's name is? His name is Jesus. There's a picture of Jesus when he grew up to be a carpenter and when he was teaching big crowds of people about the kingdom of God, when he died on the cross for our sins and when he rose again in glory to be the king in heaven. 
So that was the story of the Christmas promise. God promised a new king, a forever king, a rescuing king. And he sent Jesus to earth to be that king. So how do we know about the Christmas promise? Well, the main events of the first Christmas were written down for us by Matthew and Luke in the New Testament part of the Bible. But God started making promises about his new king hundreds of years before Jesus was born. Those promises are in the Old Testament. God promised someone who would bring blessing to all people, someone who would be king forever, and someone who would rescue people. The whole of the Old Testament points forward to Jesus. Jesus was the new king, the forever king, and a rescuing king. Jesus is my king, and my prayer is that he'd be your king too. I hope you have a very happy Christmas with Jesus right at the centre.